ऑल आई एम प्रोफेसर सविता बोड़के एंड वेलकम टू द सेकंड लेक्चर ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट मैनेजमेंट ऑफ एमएमएस सेमेस्टर फोर माय टुडेज टॉपिक इज पे बैक पीरियड एंड पे बैक प्रॉफिटेबिलिटी इफ यू आर रिफरिंग द सिलेबस देन दिस इज एज पर द सिलेबस पॉइंट नंबर सिक्स दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द फाइनेंशियल एनालिसिस सो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर अप ओनली वन टॉपिक ऑफ योर सिलेबस पॉइंट नंबर सिक्स फाइनेंशियल एनालिसिस दैट इज a payback period and payback profitability in my first lecture i discuss with you guys that this project management is really easy subject and now i am going to prove you this that how this project management is really easy so for that first we will take a very simple example savita started a firm with a investment of rupees 50 lakhs every year she is getting a net profit after tax of rupees 10 lakhs then how much time will be taken to recover the initial investment what i have put up over here that i have started one firm with a initial investment of rupees 50 lakhs and every year from this firm i am getting a post tax revenue is of rupees 10 lakhs means after paying a tax i am having a cash inflow is of rupees 10 lakhs with me and i have put up rupees 50 lakhs in my firm so how much time period it will take to recover that entire amount for me just think it for the 2 seconds now how we are going to calculate this simply what we are going to do that 50 lakhs rupees divided by 10 lakhs why we are doing this because we have put up 50 lakhs rupees in this firm and i am getting this revenue of 10 lakh rupees so to recover this 50 lakhs rupees how much time duration is required for me that is simply a 5 years so already guys you have learned the one concept that is a concept of payback period so what is the meaning of your payback period payback period is a time needed to recover the initial cost of an investment means i had deposited 50 lakhs rupees to start up my firm every year i was getting a revenue of 10 lakh rupees so the time to recover this initial investment for me is of 5 years so i feel that now you guys are confident that yes project management is really easy so now in the examination there are the two types of sum based on this payback period first one is even cash flow and second one is uneven cash flow now we are going to understand that what is even cash flow and what is uneven cash flow even cash flow means whenever the cash flow is same for every year means in a previous example of my firm we discussed that every year i am getting a revenue of rupees 10 lakh rupees that is an example of even cash flow and uneven cash flow means if the cash flow is not same every year means suppose in a first year i am getting 10 lakh rupees in the second year 15 lakhs rupees in a third year 20 lakhs rupees so that is nothing but a uneven cash flow so now even cash flow this is the first type of your illustrations so for that even cash flow if you want to compute a payback period for the even cash flow then your formula is initial investment divided by net annual cash inflows this sum already we have solved now the next one is uneven cash flow this uneven cash flow we are not having any formula so we are going to solve directly illustration based on this that point of time i'll explain you guys that how to compute a payback period for uneven cash flow now we are going to move on to our next concept but before that again one another example for you guys that already we are aware that savita started a firm with a investment of rupees 50 lakhs the total cash inflow from the business is rupees 60 lakhs now i have modified this little bit so total cash inflow from the business is rupees 60 lakhs how much profit she has earned over her investment means savita has put up 50 lakhs rupees she has recovered 
60 lakhs rupees this 60 lakhs rupees is a cash inflow for the savita but whether that is the actual profit no because she has already invested 50 lakhs rupees and she got a cash inflow is of rupees 60 lakhs so this is not a total profit but then how to compute the profit so simply what we will do we are going to just put your cash inflow first that i re receive a total cash flow of rupees 60 lakhs and i had invested 50 lakhs rupees so with the help of this firm the total profit earned by me is of rupees 10 lakhs this is nothing but your payback profitability means after a payback period how much profit you are getting that is nothing but your payback profitability means after recovering the initial investment how much actual profit you have generated that is nothing but your payback profitability so for that we are having very simple formula that is cash inflow minus cash outflow in my example what we have done 60 lakhs minus 50 lakhs so we apply the same formula that is cash inflow minus cash outflow so i hope that this concept is clear to you guys so directly i'll move on to the illustration illustration based on the even cash flow because last time uh, at the beginning of this lecture we just discuss about the concept so now we are going to start solving illustration so now the first illustration based on the even cash flow that is vandana limited wants to buy a machine of rupees 40 lakhs it is expected that the company will have expected even cash inflow of rupees 10 lakhs every year the machine will run for the five years calculate the payback period and payback profitability so what information they have given you vandana limited wants to buy the machinery and how much is the cost of this machinery that is rupees 40 lakhs so this 40 lakhs rupees is your initial investment or your total cash outflow because we are going to spend this 40 lakhs rupees on the purchase of this machinery it is expected that the company will have expected even cash inflow of rupees 10 lakhs every year now they have already specified that we are having even cash flow and we are going to receive a cash flow of rupees 10 lakhs every year the machine will run for the five years it means that this machinery we are going to utilize for the five years and for this five years every year we are going to receive a cash inflow is of rupees 10 lakhs and we have to compute the two things that is payback period and payback profitability already we have discussed regarding the payback period and payback profitability so just we are going to apply the same formula over here the first one we are going to start with the payback period initial investment divided by net annual cash inflow so initial investment that cost of machinery was rupees 40 lakhs divided by the expected net annual cash inflow is of rupees 10 lakhs so the payback period is of the four years so if we are going to purchase this machinery worth rupees 40 lakhs rupees we are going to receive a cash inflow of rupees 10 lakhs every year and we are going to recover the entire cost within the four years so that is nothing but your payback period again we have to compute the payback profitability also already we are aware that is nothing but cash inflow minus the cash outflow this is the example of even cash flow so every year we are going to receive a cash inflow of rupees 10 lakhs but this machinery we are going to utilize for the five years so how much is your total cash inflow that is 10 lakhs into five that will be the 50 lakhs rupees and cash outflow that is your initial investment that is of rupees 40 lakhs means if we are going to invest in this machinery worth rupees 40 lakhs we are going to get a 
total cash inflow over a period of five years that is 50 lakhs so 50 lakhs minus 40 lakhs you are having a payback profitability of rupees 10 lakhs over here i hope that this concept is clear to you guys please remember that don't uh, don't make any mistake over here we studied regarding the two things that is a payback period on the basis of the even cash flow and your payback profitability so i hope that both the things are clear to you guys now and the next topic is calculation of payback period and payback profitability based on the uneven cash flow but this topic i'm going to cover up in the next lecture because in mms the students comes from the different different backgrounds and everyone is not comfortable with the numbers so this topic i'll cover up in the next lecture another important announcement is that tomorrow i won't be able to upload the lecture my lecture will be uploaded directly on the 14th of may that is thursday so you guys just do the revision with the help of my this lecture and i'm going to create one playlist for this project management so whenever you will come to my channel you just click on that playlist and keep watching the lectures in a sequence because i'm going to add all the lectures in a sequence so that will be better for you guys for your revision also so all the best for your studies